folks, it's Patrick Barbanes here, the Branding Professor of thebrandingprofessor.com. And I want to take a quick couple minutes here to show you how to get the new Facebook profile and, and why you should. And a really cool profile trick that some people are doing. Um, and I want to give a hat tip here to uh, Christine Pilch on Twitter, who reminded me that even if you haven't changed your profile yet, as I haven't, and I'm going to do it live right here as you're watching, if you haven't changed your profile yet, People who have changed to the new profile are seeing your profile in the new version. It's kind of interesting, huh? So in other words, here's my profile, and it's still in the old version. If I go to Craig Agronoff, for example, Craig has changed to the new profile, and you can see with the pictures up here at the top and the information at the top, that's how the new profile is with some other information down here on the left. He's seeing my profile when he goes to it in the new format. And I don't even know what he's seeing. So that's why I'm recommending that you do it. And that's why I'm going to do it, because I want to be in control of what people are seeing. And more and more people, of course, are switching to the new profile. And pretty soon, I'm sure the new profile will be the only thing that you'll be able to do. So you might as well do it now and get in control of how it looks. Now, to do that, you're going to have to go to this URL here, this web address, facebook.com slash about slash profile. When you go there, you'll get to this page here introducing the new profile and um, over here on the right hand side of the screen is a button that says get the new profile and this is assuming that you're logged in to Facebook so I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do this live I'm gonna see how this looks um, right now so here goes and then I'm gonna show you a cool trick that some people are doing so I'm gonna click get the new profile and um, see what happens so there I have click it it's uh, churning and there it is okay so there's my new profile now. Yay! Here's my old profile. Should still be there if I go to that window. Go over here to the new profile, and it's got the five most recently tagged pictures or photos, right? That uh, are tagged of me. But here's what some people are doing. They're doing some pretty creative things. Look at this one. This is an artist who created this. This is the five most recently tagged photos. So what he did was he used Photoshop and chopped up a photo, and um, and set it up like that by tagging those photos. Uh, and uh, I'll show you another example right here. It's coming up in a moment. It should be. There it is. Okay. He's got his name. Oh, and here's one. Um, walking the dogs over to the house. That's kind of cute. And let's see what the next one is. Um, it's coming up in a moment. I'm sure it is. I clicked the button. There it is. Okay. I don't know exactly. Okay. That's a interesting face kind of boring to me but there it is so that's an example and i think there's one more example here that i'll show you and um it's a man here nicholas uh, pointing at these mountains these are the five most recent photos most recently tagged photos with his name in it now of course what happens if someone else tags a photo after that it'll show up because it's going to show up here in the new profile with the five most recently tagged photos. But there'll be a little X up here in the right-hand side. In fact, let's go to the back here. Let's go back to my profile. And there should be an X. There it is. It's very small. You can hardly see it. In the upper right-hand corner of a photo, if I click that photo, it won't untag it, but it'll remove it from the display of the five most, uh, uh, the five most recently tagged photos. Get a message. Are you sure you want to hide this photo? I'm going to say yes. Hide that photo. And away it goes, replaced by a new photo. That's me at the Toys for Tweets um, tweet up that was held by uh, by the American by the Association for Women in Communications. So that's how you do it. It's a really cool trick, and um, hope you like that uh, tutorial. And I will see you on the other side. Bye.